We balling, balling on you, young. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Orlando Magic. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. And this is around the time, Mike, we start to find out which players have made the, the biggest strides in their personal games. That's what's great about the early season. You see the work that the players put in the last few months really paying off. It's amazing the leaps some guys make from one year to the next. Probably hard to find anything more gratifying for a coach than to see those kind of adjustments and advances in a player's game. Am I right? You have to give players credit for putting the... Did they waste the offseason or did they help take their game to another level? And it's Pippen slamming it down. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Anderson outside. Pippen against Scott. Over Pippen. That one wide left. Jackson outside, down low, here's Cartwright. Boy, Cartwright is a monster. Tough task for the defense trying to stop him. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting for Chicago, Bill Cartwright taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls. Well, Bill Cartwright, to me, has all the tools he needs to be a real force at his position. A big frame, long arms, good intelligence and toughness. He can do a lot for you down low. And both free throws good for Cartwright. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Kite. Here's Newman. Pass to Skiles. Passes it to Newman. Just four to shoot. Orlando needs to get off a shot. And stolen by Jordan. Over Anderson. He trains the quick shot. We know Jordan is a master from the mid-range, whether he's squared up or falling away. You feel like it's going to splash. Now here's Anderson. And the pass to Newman. Back to Anderson. Just three to shoot. Here's Skiles. Once again off the mark, Orlando. For Chicago, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Jordan passes to Pippen. Here's Grant. To the paint. Pippen, no luck. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. Pass to Newman. Here's Skiles. Guarded by Paxson. Magic moving the ball around. Here's Skiles. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive coverage. He's got to be kicking himself he didn't make that one. Now, here's Pippen. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. And the dunk by Grant. Well, Pippen has an excellent sense for how the play is unfolding and doesn't have much trouble finding those open shooters. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Pass to Scott. Shot to stop the run. 
The Magic again can't hit. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he was too open or something. He really should have hit that one. Paxson kicks to Pippen. Passes it to Kirk. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Going inside with purpose and on a mission. Making it happen in tight. Yeah, the intensity is outstanding, and high percentage looks are a great way to build a lead. The Magic trail by 10. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. Yeah, in that one, they lacked intensity on the defensive end, and it shows in their opponent's shooting percentage. Yeah, they didn't stay attached to shooters, was slow on rotations, and allowed a lot of easy looks as a result. Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Kings checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Horace Grant. Hobson's checked in for Scotty Pippen. And Armstrong subbed in for John Paxson. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And it goes down two points. Finally, maybe that bucket sparks some offense. It's been a little ugly to start this game. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. Trying to close this gap. Always a good option to probe the paint and see if you can get an easy one inside. Now, here is Jordan. 11 points last game to the inside. Rebound by the Magic. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. The pass to Vincent. 151 left to play here in the first. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. I think the defense gave him a bit of a gift there. I mean, he got all the space he needed to go to work. Pass to Hobson. On the wing, Williams. Here's Hobson. Back to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Here's King. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. The big man, King, showing some quickness with the shot there. There's 117 left in the first quarter. Turner with the screen. Vincent the pass to Turner. Here's Vincent, shot clock at six. To the left side wing. Here's Reynolds. Misses the three. Here's Chicago. They're on a 12 to four run right now. Hobson passes to Williams. Bulls moving the ball around. 
Here's King to count that one. From an opening whistle, their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. Here's Vincent. Rebound by Williams. The Bulls leading by 10. Here's Hobson. At the top of the key, Williams. Over to the wing, to the paint. Here's King, plays it up and banks it in. King's got his third bucket of the night. Their scoring has been a problem, been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. And so it's Chicago, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll return shortly. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And the last few years, two exhibition games played in Toronto, and Commissioner Stern, Mike, called it a safe step to expand there. When does it happen? The wheels are in motion. Great attendance at both of those exhibition games. A tremendous appetite for NBA basketball in the great north. Now the feed to Turner. Over Williams, no good. And in Chicago the other way. Here's Pippen. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Pippen's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. And it's the Magic with the ball. Here's Skiles. He's coming off a 10-point game against New York. Bulls foul, John Paxson. Horace Grant is checked in for Williams. Scott is checked in for the match. Substitution on the court. Here's Skiles. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's good. Two points. Use the pick. Get space. Easy, smart basketball. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. I think it was a combination of the two things. Great defense on one side and then poor offensive execution on the other. Yeah, they were swarming all over the ball, playing with toughness, both physically and mentally. They completely suffocated that offense. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send him to the line than allow an easy layup. Shooting two. No good on that one. So he comes up empty, missing both. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Magic. Down by 12. Pass to Kite. Anderson with the ball. Passes it to Kite. Lock at six. Here's Skiles. From past the arc. The rebound by Pippen. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Feeds it to Grant. And to get open is Pippen. And too long on the shot. He gets the ball in close to the hoop. But is just unable to finish the job. And there's the pass to Skiles. Turner looking around. 
Pass to Anderson. Pass to Skiles. And he gets it to go. Skiles has got his first bucket in this one. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Chicago leading by 10. Pippen outside. Down low. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Grant inside, really willing to fight for his territory. Going hard against the defensive contact to get the finish. Magic have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Kicks to Turner. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Anderson passes to Kite. And the shot goes down. The lead pass. Executing one takes a high basketball IQ. The Magic shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Bulls making a switch here. Things checked in. And a switch here also for Orlando. Newman's checked in. And that one misses. And Chicago shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. Armstrong kicks to Pippen. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Scott with the ball. He's picked up by Pippen. Here's Skyle. Left side, Anderson. Shot clock at five. Inside. And that one's good. Kite. Kite's got it back down to within single digits for Orlando. Pippen outside. That one's not going to go. And Orlando will come the other way. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Skiles. Passes to Newman. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Two minutes remaining. Now Pippen. Two minutes. There's 154 left to play here in the second quarter. Anderson with the ball. He's picked up by Pippen. Stacy and now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Hopefully, Coach has some ideas on how to get this offense on track. I'm sure he's got something to draw up for them, probably focusing on getting them easy shots. Williams, he's checked in for Grant. Hobson comes in for Pippen. And it's Jordan in for B.J. Armstrong. The Magic making a switch here. There's a minute 47 left now here in the second. Here's Vincent. 11 points for him in that last game against the Knicks in New York. And he makes plays for others, so he can beat you both ways. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Newman. Jordan 
looking around. Hobson passes to Jordan. Right side, Williams. Back to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Jordan is double. And the ball out goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Here's Vincent on offense. Here are the Magic. They're on a 10-2 run here. 102 left in the first half. Tries from 10. Here's Reynolds. That misses off the backboard. And so Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Six-point game. The pass to Hobson. Just five to shoot. Picked by Williams. Hobson passes to Williams. And Williams throws it down. Williams knows how to punch it home. That's why you get it to him in the paint. 29 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Here's Vincent. Kite passes to Newman. Here's Vincent. Over Paxson. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Chicago in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We've got more in store for you right after this. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. The Magic trail by eight. Pass to Newman. Pass to Scott. Six to shoot. Bulls foul. John Paxson. Second personal foul. First team foul. Anderson against Jordan. And the foul Bulls called foul. on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's Skiles. Scott with a screen on Paxson. Skiles. Dishes to Scott. Two on the clock. This is why Pippen is regarded as a terrific defender. His hustle and active hands making an impact. And they double up Jordan to the middle. Here's Cartwright. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Jordan's got three assists in the game. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Here's Skiles. Passes it to Anderson. Lots of room. And the jumper is on the mark. Skiles. Skiles has got his second bucket of the game to go. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Chicago leading by eight. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Cartwright with it. He's got six. Lock at six. Here's Jordan. And that one hits back iron. The Magic trail by eight. Here's Skiles. Now the pass to Newman. 
uses the glass to finish the layup. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. Chicago calls timeout. Armstrong checked in for the Bulls. Turner's checked in for Orlando. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Jordan outside. Personal foul, first team foul. And here's Armstrong. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Jordan is double. Just five on the clock. Kicks it out to Grant. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Newman. The Magic trail by six. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to turn. Pass to Scott. Fires from deep. Traps in the tray. Now just a three-point Bulls lead. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. Pippen, the pass to Williams. Back to Pippen. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal foul with all the different things foul. Pippen can do. Scotty is one of the toughest matchups in the NBA. And he's got his first free throw of the game. At the line for two. That free throw, no good. Points, assists, rebounds, defense. Scotty Pippen gives your team all of that. Every team in the league wants a guy like him. Chicago making a switch here. Kings checked in. Good on the second free throw. The Magic trail by four. Scott with a screen on Jordan. 
Pass to Reynolds. There's the drive. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Pippen. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. They've led by as many as 14 points. At six foot six with his crazy hops, Jordan could be a problem down low. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Vincent. The pass to Reynolds. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. Put on Pippen. The Magic shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Jerry Reynolds at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Hobson's jacked in for Scotty Pippen. And the second free throw, good. Now, here is Jordan. They swipe it. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. One fifty-seven left to play in the third. Vincent the pass to Reynolds from the baseline, and it's King with the rebound. The defense willing to concede the mid-range as the lesser of evils. It paid off there. Orlando foul. Sam Vincent first personal foul. Thirteen foul. Outside Williams. He kicks to Armstrong. Shot clock at six. Beyond the arc. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Master Reynolds. He feeds it to Scott. Shoots over King. The Magic again can't hit. The defense knows he likes the mid-range looks. So they made that as difficult for him as possible. Over to the left wing. Now Armstrong, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. All he needed right there was simply to set himself up and then relax and shoot the ball. He threw himself off balance for no reason. Inside, and finished off by Scott. A textbook screen creating a big time opportunity. You know, he certainly makes Dudney Clark the most of everything. When you've got the chance, you have to take it. He held nothing back. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Hobson passes to Jordan. Off target with the open look. Pass to Reynolds. Down low, Scott, and it's Scott with the jam. They found something, and they're clicking now. Their offense has put them in position. Now, can they keep it going? Armstrong and he got that one up in time but doesn't go in it's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three Bulls lead by one and time to step aside quickly but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter Locked in a very close contest. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one.
floats one outside for Pippen. Back to Grant. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Here's Reynolds. He's covered by Armstrong. Passes it to Anderson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Anderson. Anderson's got the lead up to one now for the Magic. Soft, puffy interior D, and they've exploited it. Pippen with it. And he uses the glass on the way. With his physicality, Pippen is fearless inside that painted area. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Skyle. Here's the pass to Reynolds. Here's Kite. Good on the shot. And the Magic lead by one. Nice play there to spray that pass out to the perimeter for the shot. Paxson outside. Nick by Cartwright. Paxson kicks to Armstrong. Clock at four. Shoots from the high post. It's deflected. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. Magic shooting about 42% so far. Skiles, the pass to Newman. Pass to Anderson. And the shot goes in. Nick Anderson. And it's a three-point magic lead. Timeout for this the is why he's a focal point of their offense, because they trust in his ability to shoulder them when needed. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. During that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Phil Jackson said to the team. He got on his guys about allowing too many paint points. He said, hey, we've got to be scrappier. We've got to be quicker to help, quicker to collapse the lane. You guys know what to do. Now you got to give me the effort. I want to see some nasty. Kevin? OK, David, much appreciated. Here's Cartwright. Up top, Pippen. And the Bulls with another miss. Boy, that's a squandered opportunity there. One he'd like to have back for sure. Anderson passes to Newman. Here's Skiles, guarded by Paxson. Pass to Reynolds. Shoots over Pippen. And it's Cartwright with the rebound. 
Tyler Wright got his fourth rebound in this one. Paxson outside. Passes to Carter. Three pointer. Rebound by the Magic. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. And there's the pass to Reynolds. Here's Newman. He's covered by Grant. And that one, good. Now it's a five point Orlando lead. He's got a nice touch around the rim. The defense might be better off fouling him. And another great look at the 2K drive. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Pippen the pass to Armstrong. Up by right. He lobs it up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Picked him clean. To the inside. Grant. That's good. Big bucket from Horace Grant. No fear, even when the lights are brightest. Magic leading by three. Now a timeout time called time by Orlando. The Bulls making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. And a switch here also for Orlando. Scotty's checked in for Reynolds. Here are the Magic now. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Here's Newman. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Sky. Down to five on the shot clock. The rebound by Pippen. Pippen's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Paxson. Back to Pippen. Jordan finds Grant. Pippen outside. Over Scott. Pippen can't hit. Magic leading by three. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Passes it to Scott. He gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Scott is a steady role player. Actually, a little more than a role player. This guy is a lethal sharpshooter from deep and, and really stretched the floor.
gets the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Free throws here. So now it's a five point game. Two possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. And he's going up for the alley oop. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. The ball sailing out of bounds. Not the offensive possession they were hoping for. Magic leading by five. Here's Skyle. Anderson outside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Second team foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Orlando. Taking two shots. the first one and that increases their lead to six He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. In order to get back in this one, they'll have to be perfect from here on out. No wiggle room at all. Any mistake or lost possession could shut the door on their night. Paxson, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Boy, Paxson absorbing the contact, but still getting the shot off. That's just good, tough basketball there. John Paxson taking two shots. free throw is good and that brings them within five a solid role player for this team Paxson's job is to take high percentage shots and move the rock oh free throws good from Paxson well that time he made the most of that trip to the line and cuts the deficit 43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter and they go to the intentional foul Shooting for a row, Nick Anderson at the line for two. So both free throws are good. It's a six-point ball game. Trying to shut the door here. That could do it. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by six. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the fourth.
Pippen, the pass to Paxson. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan. Got it. And now they trail by just four. Boy, you just got to love his competitive spirit. Jordan never gives up on the game, always competing. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the match. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. No time to waste here. They've got to act fast right now. No room for error. They need to execute. Jordan kicks to Grant. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Here's Paxson. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. And it's tight with the rebound. And so they foul intentionally. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Magic, Nick Anderson taking two shots. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the launch. And it's a seven-point game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They trail by seven. Five seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? Hey, it's pretty simple, if we're honest. Tonight, they just weren't good enough. At this point, you start thinking of next game. Because this one is finished. Substitution on the court. Five seconds left in the game. And the Bulls with another miss. And so it's Orlando winning this one. That's they the came in game. part one to play spoiler on the road, we and they have. You know what, Kevin? You either buckle in the hostile environment, or you use that energy for you. They clearly used it as motivation. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. See you next time.